Well, now we're looking at the Core Skills and Affinity Designer Workbook, and we're looking at objects, starting with opacity. Now, this is a very simple exercise, and it's only using the Core Skills, Artboards, Objects, Opacity uh, graphic, which you can download, of course, from, um, from Affinity itself. So let's open that, and it's made up of a series of artboards which come in very small like that. Move them around to have a look. They're all there, all the exercises, but we only want this one at the moment, the opacity artboard. Now on the layer panel, this is really quite simple. On the layer panel, we can see all the layers and we want the artboard, the objects. Expand that object one. Expand the face, no. Expand the head, no. And expand the body. Okay, now we only want the head in this exercise. Now, we expand the head layer. And you can see we've now got the head layer selected. And there are a number of curves that make up the head layer. Any of which we can change the opacity of individually. Now, you can change the opacity of the whole group, but we want to change the value of the components. So let's select... Now, what do they say in the book? Then the head layer and changing the opacity value of head components. Well, that's easy. So let's let's select that curve there. Now you go to FX right next to where that curve is, and you can see the fill opacity, and you can see the opacity lowering as I drag the slider across. As six percent, the outline's still there, and you can see as I'm bringing it across, it's bringing up the opacity. Now this is important because you have other um, layers behind that. You see, so you can change the opacity, and theoretically, you can change the opacity of both layers. So we've got that one selected and the opacity set to 69 for want of a better one. Now what's the one behind it? A straight line. Is it that one? No. No, it might even in fact be the body. So let's change the opacity of that one. Go to FX. No, it's that one. See the one behind there? So I've got the wrong one selected. What we're looking for is not that one, not that one. Curve, curve. We're looking for that angle there. And we can't find it. Because I didn't draw this, it's becoming... There it is. It's that slightly hidden curve there. And you can see it's outlined there. Now let's change the opacity of that. Mm, no visible difference. Okay, so that was a good idea. But you get the idea. That curve there is the ear. That curve's there, the one we changed the opacity on to start with. Let's set it back to 100%, and there it goes. And that settles back into place. 
That's all there is to changing the opacity of various layers. As you can see, each component is made up of a layer and you can change the opacity of any one of them. By simply selecting the layer you want to change and using the FX. And you can even change the background layer. Let's leave it at black so that it's all set where we want it. And that's all there is to that one.